time now for the trending stories people are clicking on today at WKRG.com. Kimber Collins joins us from the Digital Alert Desk. This first story is so exciting. A local going to the big leagues, a UMS right star pitcher drafted by the LA Dodgers, Kimber. Yeah, Dan, it has to be a great feeling to be drafted and making your childhood dreams come true. And how cool is it that he was drafted in the first round? So another Mobile native making it to the big leagues. Maddox Bruns has been a hot topic for a while. MLB scouts have been seen at UMS right when he takes the mound. The left-handed pitcher is just 19 years old and can already throw at 97 miles per hour. So back in March, Bruns came to us pretty humble, saying he never paid attention to the scouts, but focused on his pitch and getting a win for his team. And coming up in sports, Randy Patrick and Simone Eli catch up with our trio of local draftees. That's so exciting, and to be a left-handed pitcher, I'm actually left-handed too. That's a that's a very cool and unique trait. And for us lefties out there, you know, it's definitely a bragging point. So I, this is one we'll all have to watch for sure. Yeah, and here's another story for you, Dana. Out of Florida, a massive hole was found in Pasco County in a backyard. When mowing the grass, the homeowner discovered this crater. It was six feet deep and six to seven feet across. He says the fire department came in and painted a circle around the hole, saying if it gets bigger to call them. And right now, it's not determined to be a sinkhole, but officials are blaming heavy rains from Tropical Storm Elsa for the opening. That's so funny. It's almost like they're treating it like a spider bite where you draw a circle around it and you hope it doesn't get any bigger. Well, Kimber, I'm not sure if you're familiar with a, a bunch of sinkhole stories. I know that there were some that I heard growing up that you kind of have to wonder if it's true. My parents and teachers always told us about this one sinkhole and they said that cars were in it and people were allowed to, to keep the cars if they were allowed to get them out of the sinkhole. It sounds really crazy, but you never know with these Florida stories. <laughs> yeah, this one, I'm just glad he didn't fall in while mowing. Oh, goodness, that, that would be be scary. You'd have to wonder, how would you get out of that? <laughs> All right. Well, this story is just a debate, but it is trending. So here we are. A woman named Reese took to Twitter to settle an argument. She asked in a poll, isn't it tacky for somebody to eat the free bread at a restaurant as soon as you get it? And it looks like she lost this debate. Nearly 369,000 votes, 97% say no, it is not tacky. Reese believes you should wait five minutes before going after those dinner rolls or the breadsticks. And one user tweeted back saying, this is the stupidest thing I have ever read, and that when the bread comes warm, why would you wait? I mean, you know, I feel like this is uh, such, I mean, such a debate among people. I saw the little poll that we had on our Facebook page and, you know, lots of people taking different sides. One thing that really stood out to me in this all, Kimber, is one person commented saying, you know, if this, if this is what you're debating, you've, you've got to realize at some point you're pretty blessed to have problems this small. <laughs> Absolutely. And we decided to ask our viewers on a Facebook poll. You can kind of see it behind me here. And one person said, Brenda K. Ritchie says, hot bread is best when hot. And most of our votes came in saying, no, this is not tacky. Well, that is definitely something we will keep an eye on. Everyone, make sure that you're following our Facebook page. That's where you're going to see those polls. You'll see the top stories as well. All of that on the WKRG Facebook page. I know quite a few fun things on there when I look this morning. Yeah, Dana. Well, those are today's online headlines. Again, you can see much more like this on WKRG.com. Now.